While this Philadelphia doctor is being held without bail, questions are being raised about how he was able to operate what prosecutors describe as a filthy abortion mill. Dr. Kermit Gosnell was arrested Thursday on eight counts of murder. It's in connection with the deaths of seven babies and the death of this woman who suffered a fatal overdose of painkillers during an abortion procedure. In case after case, Dr. Gosnell and his assistants induced labor, forced the live birth of viable babies in the sixth, seventh, and eighth month of pregnancy, and then killed those babies by cutting into the back of their necks with scissors and severing their spinal cords. Gosnell is a family practice physician with no certification in gynecology or obstetrics. Yet officials say he performed illegal late-term abortions. The mother of one of Gosnell's former patients told the AP her daughter almost died following an abortion in 1999. Johnny Mae Smith said days after the procedure, she called the doctor before taking her to the hospital. Because I called him. I said, what do you do to my daughter? I said, my daughter's about to die. I said, what in the world? You? He said, Russ, take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. I said, I am taking her to the hospital now. Smith's daughter later sued the doctor. A grand jury said failures by state regulators and other agencies allowed the doctor to operate for decades. The clinic, which catered to poor immigrant and minority women, was last inspected in 1993. As for the doctor, he's expected back in court in February. Nine of his employees, including Gosnell's wife, also face charges. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.